डन ड्रॉ द स्ट्रक्चर प्लीज You're done? You draw on Harshit and Maha and Jiana and Aisha. You draw on all. Check it. AL203 be like this. In the first step, you are going to have the six electrons for the oxygen each. And three electrons for this one. And two electrons for this. One electron for this and one electron for this. Okay. 
and then after this is the first step the second step after donation when you donate the electrons then what you are going to do is you will get al3 positive al3 positive and o 1 2 3 you get 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay and two two electrons extra for each and then minus two charge, minus two charge, minus two charge. This is the second step. And the third step is after donation, you will get Al3 positive. How many atoms of Al, Al are there? Two. And then oxygen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight with minus two. And how many oxygen atoms are there? Three. So is it, this is the third step. So if you have not done and if you have done some mistake, you, so you can correct it here. Okay, do it. And then let me know. Thank you, everyone. Yes, Next. sir. Next. Check, check of magnesium. Magnesium chloride and magnesium oxide. Is there any student in the class whose whole chapter of uh, metals and non-metal is coming in? Means extraction of metal is also coming in the examination. Is there anyone whose extraction of metal is also coming? Okay, shall I start? Uh, done? You check everyone? All the three steps. The first step is this one. This one, the second step is this one, third step is this one. For this one, one, two, and C step is this one. Done? So for me, non-metals and metals is coming, full chapter. Full chapter. The occurrence of metal is also coming. Yes, I think so. We haven't yet started the chapter. We just started a few days ago. 
So check it whether it is coming or not because in half yearly it does not come. So you need to confirm the whole. Because in the syllabus, syllabus it's given like the whole chapter name. That's why. Right. When you are going to have your exam? October 17. Till then we are going to complete. Done? Done? Okay, let's move further. If I'm talking here. Next is, uh, yes, there are diff uh, many types of questions that are going to come on this topic. One is the chemical properties of metals. Chemical properties properties of metals. Okay. As you know that metals, when react with uh, acid, they form salt plus hydrogen gas. Salt plus hydrogen gas. Can you can you tell me that what would happen when copper is going to react with H2SO4? Yes, sir. Yes, you have it. Can you tell me what would happen if copper is going to react with H2SO4? Sir, um, like Cu plus H2SO4 gives you CuSO4 plus H2. Yes, you, Maha. It won't react, I think. Yes, you, Jiana. Uh, so there will be no reaction. And you, Aisha? Tell me what product is, is going to be obtained. CuSO4 plus H2O plus SO2. There will be no reaction. Why? Because it is a type of displacement reaction. Copper should be, copper comes below hydrogen in the reactivity series, so copper is less reactive. Less reactive, so it will not react. Got it? Okay, if I'm having, uh, like if I'm having Zn, okay, Zn when react with HNO3, what would happen? What would happen if Zn is going to react with HNO3? No reaction. Why? Sir, because Zn is less reactive. Zn is not less, less reactive, it is more reactive. Yes, you. Maha, can you answer me? It is metals, it is HNO3 acid, so it is not going to react. And why it is so? Yes, HNO3 is a strong oxidizing agent. What happens when zinc reacts with HNO3? It will form zinc nitrate plus NO2 plus water. It does not form hydrogen gas. Why? Because zinc being a strong oxidizing agent, it oxidizes the, the H plus ions of hydrogens to form water. They are the two metals. One is magnesium, another one is manganese, which when react with uh, with with HNO three, HNO three, it will gives you salt plus hydrogen gas. So that is the magnesium nitrate plus H two. So this is the only uh, two metals, magnesium and manganese, which when react with magnesium, sorry HNO three nitric acid, to form. Uh, Sir, yes. In the zinc, after like Zn, it should be bracket NO three bracket two, right? Because zinc has valency two. Yeah, it should be.
You done? You understood why CHNO3, why metals on reaction with uh, HNO3 do not produce hydrogen gas? Because my 3 being a strong oxidizing agent, this we have written each and everything in your copy. If you if you are going to check it, uh, you can check it. Okay, we have done this one here. HNO3 being in a strong oxidizing here it is. HNO3 being in a strong oxidizing agent on reaction with metal do not degrade out hydrogen gas because it is a strong oxidizing agent. It oxidizes the hydrogen ion to form water and itself get reduced to any of the nitrogen oxides such as N2, NO2, and NO3. However, magnesium and manganese are the two metals which on reaction with HNO3 liberate out hydrogen gas. Understood? Yes or no? Yes. Next. Tell me, what are the conditions when we are just reacting? Like for example, if you are going to react uh, magnesium with water, what, what product is going to form? Zinc with water, Calcium with water and iron with water and potassium and sodium with water. What product you will all going to obtain and tell me the condition for them. What are the conditions? Condition for magnesium means water, water's temperature, the temperature of the water that will be required of the condition of the state. Of the water, tell me. Hot water, right? Magnesium, okay, hot water. What product is going to form? This magnesium is hydroxide. Yes, magnesium hydroxide plus hydrogen, yes. And this is hot water. Yes, you Jana. What 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 product is going to obtain here? So, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes, uh, Z and no. Z and. So ZNO plus H2. ZNO plus H2. Okay. And condition of water? Um, gas. Steam. Yes, you calcium. Tell me calcium. Hydrogen, yes. Yes, you, Maha. The condition for water, for calcium. Then Normal yes. temperature? Cold water. This FE? What product is going to form? You are muted. Tell me what happens when Fe is going to react with water? Yes, you Harshit.
sir uh, feo plus o h2 fe2o fe3o4 you have to memorize this one this is important fe3o4 is a mixture of feo and fe2o3 this together will give you fe3 and o and o will give o4 okay plus hydrogen gas and then potassium and reactive will give koh or NaOH plus hydrogen gas. And these are, uh, this react with steam and this react with uh, cold or chilled or ice, ice, even any state of water, ice or cold water. Okay. Understood? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Four metals, the initial four metal like potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium. These metals when react with water, they form hydroxide. And other, they don't form hydroxide. Okay. So let's, they form only oxides. So let's have some questions over this topic. Question number 56. What should be the answer for the question number 56? Question number 56. Sir, it will be Cu, copper. Yeah, a metal M, a metal M does not liberate out hydrogen gas on reaction with acid. So it means it should be less reactive than acid, than hydrogen, but react with oxygen to form black color compound. So copper, when comes in the contact with the oxygen, when you heat it, it will become copper oxide. So it will be Cu, when react with oxygen, it will give you Cu2O, cupric ox cuprous oxide, and this is black in color, black color. And when you heat it, uh, explain the reaction, uh, identify the M, metal M and black, and black color compound. So this is the black color compound is this copper oxide and this is M, okay? Next, done this one, you understood? Write down question number 56 in your copy, 54 in your copy. Question number 54 in your copy, note, note it down.
Sir, here metal is Na and metal B is NaOH. Yes, metal A is Na. Uh, A is sodium Na. And B NaOH. And C. Uh, I think Al Al two O three. Hmm. Al two O three sodium aluminate. So Al two O three sodium aluminate. Sorry, Na. So it is the uh, A N A A L O two. We will check here that we noted everyone. N A when react with water, what it will give you? N A O H plus hydrogen gas. This is the A element and this is the B. Now it is saying that N A O H. Any compound B when react with Al2O3 gives a compound C which is soluble in water. So what happens when NaOH react with Al2O3? Can anybody tell me? Tell me past. NaAlO2 plus water. Na2, sorry, NaAlO2. Positives only plus water. Very good. Instead of hydrogen, if it is only Al, then it will be hydrogen gas, but it is not hydrogen Al. Al2O3, so it will be water. So this is any Al2O2. This is sodium aluminum. Compound C is sodium aluminum. Not this one. Here. Done? Yes. What should be the answer for question number? Same similar question. But here we have 53. So which question? 53, 53. Sir, we have done it. Okay, tell me what is A, B, and C. So element A is CO I know element B will be COH whole twice. What are you saying? Sir, element A is CO and element B is COH whole twice. Element is either calcium or if you are in element means element. CO is a compound. So it is calcium. Okay. 
when treated with, with water, what it will give you? CaOH four twice plus plus hydrogen gas. Yes. Which is used in whitewashing. We use this one in whitewashing. Compound B on heating forms a compound C. Which in on treatment with water gives a compound A. So when you heat compound B calcium hydroxide. Water. This compound C and when it when it react with water again, it will give you back. So C when treated with water, again it will give you B back. So it will be this reaction will reverse. C plus water will give you B again. Done. Yes. Next. Question number 50. What should be the answer for question number 50? What should be the answer for question number 50? A non-metal A is important. Harshit, you there? Yes, sir. A non-metal A is important constituent of our food and, and form two oxides, B and C. Oxide B is toxic, whereas C causes global warming. So non-metal oxide is a constituent of our food. So what is the constituent of our food? Nitrogen, the form of protein. Is important constant for food and form two oxides B and C. B is toxic, whereas C causes global warming. What is carbon? Carbon is also important because we use hydrocarbon, so it forms two types of oxides. Form two. The toxic. Uh, the B will be carbon monoxide, like C, just CO, and then like the C will be carbon dioxide, which causes yeah, global warming. Is, yeah, this is 
A is carbon, B is a toxic is carbon monoxide and C is global warming. Okay, and uh, A element A is carbon. Understood, everyone? Yes or no? Yes. Question number 46, write down in your copy. Done. A metal A is used in thermite process. So I'm writing here the reaction of the thermite reaction that A L when react with A F two O three will gives you A L two O three plus F E in the liquid state. This is the thermite reaction. Okay, now tell me that what would be the element A. Yes, you Harshit. Why have you turned aluminum. out? Aluminum. Hmm? Aluminum. Yeah, aluminum is A. Because it is talking about the element. The element here is Al, not Fe.
sir what is the answer is what is what is the answer you said a a is aluminium because it is it is the element which is used in thermite reaction when heated with now this uh, this we use in thermite process so it is aluminium when heated with oxygen given oxide b so aluminium when heated so it will directly react with oxygen and will gives you al2o3 now which is an amphoteric oxide you know that zno al2o3 and uh, pbo these are the three amphoteric oxide so when identify a so a is aluminum and b is al2o3 now it is saying that write down the reaction of b with scl and noa so write down the reaction of b with scl any al2o3 reaction with scl completed and al2o3 reactions with naoh completed please So I will give out NaAlO2 plus water. NaAlO2 plus water. NaAlO2 NaAlO2 yes plus water. This is sodium aluminate. And then with HCl, it will give out three molecules of water. AlCl3 plus water. Salt plus water, na? Huh? Done. Yes. Done, you Aisha. The reaction, both the reaction with NaOH and HCl of Al two O three. Yes, sir. Next. Write down question number forty three in your copy. And then 42, 43 and 42. Yes, you're done. You're done. 41 and 42. What you do is very easy.
डन सुनो डन So when metal X is treated with cold water, it gives basic salt Y with molecular formula XOH. So what is X? Sir, magnesium. No, 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 sir. Uh, calcium. Sodium. Calcium. So it is. Sodium. Yes, it is sodium. Because cold water, calcium can react with cold water. Sodium and potassium can also react with water. Magnesium react with hot water. But calcium has. Do not has the molecular mass of forty alone. Calcium alone has atomic mass forty, and it is saying. And moreover, the formula of calcium hydroxide should be CaOH XOH whole twice. So it should be like this, not XOH. So here, other two elements that can form the formula in the form of XOH is potassium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide. Okay, मतलब जो XOH की form में formula बना सकते हैं, वो या तो NaOH है या KOH है. तो NaOH का मास मास ऑफ NaOH इज 40 एंड दिस इज हैज अ मास ऑफ 56 सो Na इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इफ इट इज ऑफ y व्हिच लिबरेट आउट गैस Z सो गैस Z इज हाइड्रोजन गैस Na व्हेन रिएक्ट विद वाटर इट विल गिव्स यू NaOH प्लस हाइड्रोजन गैस ओके अंडरस्टूड यस और नो यस सर या ना यू अंडरस्टूड अंडरस्टूड किया ना? यस सर। ओके नेक्स्ट। कंपाउंड एक्स एंड एल्युमिनियम आर यूज्ड टू जॉइन रेलवे ट्रैक्स। आईडेंटिफाई द कंपाउंड। सो एक्स कंपाउंड इज एल्युमिनियम एंड एक्स एड दिस इज द थर्माइट रिएक्शन दैट वी यूज्ड फॉर जॉइनिंग द रेलवे ट्रैक्स। एंड दैट इज एफ़ीटू ओ to give Al two O three plus iron in the liquid state because this reaction is so exothermic that the heat liberated out during the reaction is so large that the iron obtained is in the molten state. That's why iron in the liquid state is obtained and that is being used for welding purpose. Okay, understood? Yes or no? Understood? Yes, sir. Similarly, here another question. Uh, if I'm talking, generally, uh, this question number forty. Generally, when metals are treated with mineral acid, hydrogen gas is liberated. But when metals, magnesium and manganese are treated with HNO three, hydrogen is not liberated. Why? Can you tell me why? Why should the metals generally metals are treated with mineral acids? You know, but HNO three. So it is HNO three is a strong oxidizing agent. You know, that HNO three when react with okay, uh, with metals except the magnesium and manganese. So it it is so uh, means we can say it is a strong oxidizing agent that we have determined the answer there, and it oxidizes the hydrogen ions to form water, not hydrogen gas. And add this this result in, okay? You understood? So this you have done. This questions we have written in a notebook. You can go through that. So that's all for today. We'll meet you in the next class. Thanks for coming.
Thank you, sir. Okay, bye-bye. Take care.